hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how you can basically use php in order to build how to upload files read files download files and delete files from your aws s3 storage bucket you can see this is basically the application we are using some bootstrap here and we have the upload file button and we can simply upload files to our aws bucket storage so i previously done two videos using node.js and javascript i have shown you step by step but in this tutorial we will be using the php sdk which is provided by aws s3 bucket cl cloud storage sdk we will be looking at how we can upload files delete files read files and download files as well so we have this bucket created guys you will see coding siksha currently there are no files present inside this bucket and now if i click the choose file button and let's suppose i select multiple files here four files i select click on upload you will see guys it will basically upload these four files to this aws you will see all these four files have been uploaded here and basically it has its unique url if you open this url you will see that basically this is a url which has been uploaded if i now refresh the amazon dashboard you will now see guys four files have been successfully uploaded right here you can see that you can basically upload multiple files you can select a single file and click on upload and now it will upload that file as well you will see that now we have these buttons out there guys if i click download the file will download as an attachment you will see that now you can open that file which you have uploaded so we have the download button as well and then we have the delete button as well guys so as you click the delete button you will see file deleted successfully so now if you refresh only four files will remain you will see that again if you click delete button it will make a delete request to the aws s3 cloud storage you will see that once again the file will be deleted so now only three files remain so now only two files remain if i refresh the page you will see that so as you refresh your amazon dashboard as well guys only two files remain here so we are performing all the operation guys if you load the page we are loading all the files which are present inside our amazon dashboard you will see we are displaying the name of the file url and the action as well download and delete so it will be a current kind of an application we will be using the php sdk which is provided by aws s3 cloud storage you can basically buy the full source code of this application the link is given in the description of the video you can go to stripe.com after you make the payment you will basically get a zip file and this will be the directory structure and all the source code will be get there so we will now be starting this application how to build this application so i will be seeing you in the next section so now guys the very first thing in this process is to basically create some a bucket where we can upload the files and also we need to create a user as well so first of all guys just go to your amazon dashboard and in the services tab just select here s3 just search for s3 and inside this go to this s3 it's a scalable storage for amazon s3 where we can store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere so there is an option here called as create bucket click this option and now you need to give your bucket a unique name so here i will give this bucket coding siksha this is my bucket and by default the region will be selected here of your own location so wherever you are you don't need to modify these settings so simply click on the create bucket option and your bucket will be created right here so now guys we can directly upload files to this bucket by selecting here upload option and it have add files option here and basically we can go to it directly upload a image file like this and click on upload you can see that it is directly uploaded this you can see succeed it so this is the file which gets uploaded we can even perform all these operations we can delete as well simply we just need to write here permanently delete so you can perform all these actions in the a dashboard also but we will be looking at how to do this programmatically now as you created this uh, bucket guys now you need to create go to user simply type search user and here you need to create a user guys so simply go to user and here we need to click on add user we need to create a root user you can give any name of your choice but i will be giving at by default username is root click on next and after this guys you just need to click on next again and then again click on create user so now your user is created guys 
So after this, you need to go to this user and here you need to basically add the permissions. So the permission guys basically click on add permission and uh, we will attach the uh, policies directly. So select these third option and here we need to select for the permission guys which is S3 full access. This is basically the permission guys as we need to select here because we are working with S3 storage bucket engine. You need to click on this option and select this permission. That's all. We need to select this permission guys and click on next. So we need to click this option add permission. Simply add this permission and now guys your permission has been attached. You have have this permission so this you can uh, create or upload files, you can download files, you can delete files, all those permissions have been granted. Now guys, we need to create a access, access key here. So how we can do that? We need to go to security credentials and then we need to create this access key. This is really important guys, access key. And here we need to select the second option here, which is local mode. And then just select this option. I understand and click on next and then click on create access key so this will give you your own access key guys this is really important you need to store this information in a very uh, I'll let me store it inside my notepad file so uh, I will need this information access key and all this stuff so simply copy this access key and uh, your secret key as well so this is your secret access key so this will be only be shown for this first time so you better uh, store it somewhere else because you will need this secret key as well and now I will delete all this information once I finish this video. So don't copy my information. Click on done. And now your access key has been created. That's all. So this is the setup process guys that you need to do for this Amazon S3 storage CRUD application. So now we can start our Node.js Express or any sort of application that we are building. So uh, one additional step guys after have you created this access key and all that stuff. You need to basically go to your bucket. So wherever you have created your bucket, simply click on the bucket and go to permissions. And here guys, basically we are, uh, as you can see, we are opening, uh, we are developing it on local host. So this is local host. It is running on port 5500. So we need to basically allow the course uh, permission, which is cross origin resource sharing. We need to enable this on our AWS bucket. So there is this option called as uh, if you see cross origin resource sharing, it will be empty by default. You need to click on edit and simply I will paste the code that I am showing you right here. Simply paste this code guys. This is an array of uh, object. We are allowing all origins. If you want to allow a single website, let's suppose your website, you can put an address right here, HTTPS followed by your own address. But star means that we are allowing all origins and we are allowing these methods here which is get put post delete and allowed headers is also star simply add this to your cross origin resource sharing and click on save changes this is that step guys after you do that you are all set to go for building your javascript application which allows you to upload files to aws download read and as well and delete as well I will be seeing you in the next section. So now guys in order to get started here, first of all, what we need to do is that we need to basically create a composer file. Composer basically it's a compo uh, dependency manager for PHP similar to NPM. So we have this there. So let me just delete this and start from scratch and tell you what, how it is done. So basically just make a composer or you can directly let me just uh, just make a composer.json file guys and simply copy paste this code right here inside the require folder so we are basically downloading this aws sdk so now after this what we need to say composer install so now what it will do guys it will install this dependency it will create this vendor folder and now it will install this sdk right here so it is installing it so just wait so after it finishes the process of installing the SDK we will now be having this vendor folder you will see we have this AWS all these files which we need to have this is AWS SDK 
so now it has I think it's completed the command is completed here so we need to load this auto load.php file guys inside our PHP script so now just make index.php file guys and now we will write the code from scratch so first of all what we need to do just make the PHP tag and we need to require this file which is present inside the vendor folder and auto load.php after you do this guys we will need to configure our access key all that client ID that we saw how to create it in the earlier step so we can load the SDK first of all S3 client exception S3 exception and then guys basically we need to create these three things which will be there for let me just show you what I am talking about so yeah let me delete all these things here and yeah so this is will be the information guys uh, access key secret key region all this stuff will be coming from your Amazon dashboard so just copy this information from your own dashboard after you provide your bucket name now we can initialize the connection we can configure the uh, Amazon F AWS S3 thing we can pass all these things we can instantiate a new S3 client we are passing the version region credentials is the key and secret key so all that stuff so now it's very easy guys we will be basically include the bootstraps SDK bootstrap CDN so you can see we are writing just close the PHP tag right here so now you can see we are including the bootstrap CDN for our uh, thing and inside basically we will inside the body just close uh, HTML tag as well so right here guys basically inside uh, we will have a simple form which will actually make the post request uh, encoding type we do need to give which is the multi-part form data and all the source code is given guys you can purchase the full source code and we are basically so just attaching the bootstrap classes here which is now to upload multiple files and then it is making this post request now we need to simply write that post request so how we can do that it's very simple we will have we will handle this file upload process inside this if condition this is the PHP code let me show you let me just copy this so right here you can paste your PHP code after you make the connection so we inside this if condition so we have this server request method post and we are checking that the files are not empty in that case we are uploading we are getting the files we are counting the number of files name with the count method of PHP and then inside this try catch block guys you will see that we are basically looping through each file and basically we are storing the path inside the temp file variable and then we are using this method of the SDK which is put object we are providing the bucket name we are providing the key which is the actual file name and then we are providing the actual file which is we are opening the file using the f open method of PHP that's all in read binary mode that's all guys so after doing this we are simply printing out a message that files uploaded successfully so if you now reload the application now go to this uh, you will see a choose file button if you select the file let me just uh, basically delete all the files which are present right here click delete click delete and now our is empty right here you will see no files are present inside the bucket if I try to basically upload these uh, this much of files which is 11 files click on upload so one by one it will basically upload these files guys you will see file uploaded successfully so now what will happen if you check inside your if you refresh your 
AWS dashboard, you will see all these 11 files will be uploaded right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see. So it, it don't have to be images, it can be videos, it can be any other zip files, exe files. So it is not that you also only need to upload images. I'm just taking the example. So our upload process is working guys. Now we need to display these files inside the table. So whichever files which are present right here, we need to display them inside the table. So now what we can do guys, we can basically write this code which is objects. So this SDK guys does provide us a method which is S3 and this basically contains a method which is list objects. So inside this list objects method guys, we will basically provide the bucket name here. The bucket name will be the actual bucket name variable. That's all. So put a semicolon and now it will basically contain an array of object here. Now we need to display them inside the table. So just after your form guys, we will basically have a table. Let me just write this code. It's a very complicated code guys because I don't like PHP that much. That's why I'm just copy pasting the code. Uh, you will see that. So many re users requested this video from me. That's why I decided to make this. You will see that guys uh, inside our H2 tag uploaded files. We have this table like structure and we have this three columns name, URL and action. And in the table body we are basically looping through. We are using the for each loop. And for each entry, we are printing out the file name, we are printing out the download URL, we are printing out the delete URL as well, like this. This is using get object URL, all that stuff. So if you now refresh here, application, so the list of files will be, it will take some time. And basically you will see that all the files will be printed out from the AWS S3 cloud storage. And this is your name of the file, screenshot1.png. The same one you will see that. So you can see how easy it is. And now you, the download button, if you click download, the file will be downloaded. Uh, download will, button will uh, not work. If you click delete button, it will not work because we need to write the PHP code for that. So the PHP code is very simple guys. So this is the, for the delete option, it's very easy just after you do this process after the body tag then you need to write the PHP code right here you can't write above PHP code after you list out these entries then you need to write the PHP code here and uh, here inside this PHP code we will have this if condition guys if there is a get request of delete in that case you will see that we are getting the actual file name which we need to delete and after that we are using delete object method of the SDK we are providing the bucket name and the actual key and then we are printing out the message file deleted successfully so if you now refresh click on the delete option so now it will say file deleted successfully at the bottom side and if you again click delete here again it will delete click delete so now you can see if I refresh only this much of files are remaining. So let me delete all the files here. So if you just refresh now you will see only five, four files are remaining. So we have deleted all the files. Uh, so here also you will see only four files will, will remain one, two, three, four. So now we just remaining with the download option guys. So download is little bit complicated. We do need to add some headers before you download the files. So just after this, you just need to write this code guys. Basically we are adding, uh, adding some headers here, which is content type, content disposition, content length in order to download. And then we are reading the file. We are inside body. We are using get object method. Once again of the SDK providing the bucket name and the actual key, which is a file name. So now if you refresh, click download, the file will be downloaded. If you upload a file, let's suppose click upload, the file will be uploaded. So it's a basically CRUD kind of application. We have interacting with the AWS S3 cloud storage bucket SDK in PHP in order to 
do this process so thank you very much guys all the source code is given you can buy the full source code by going to stripe.com and then you will get this full source code thank you very much for watching this video